Hello guys, how are you? Um, I hope that you can hear me and if you can, I think that we will start with our first ever review. Uh, it's going to be from Free Code Camp, a project from Free Code Camp, and the person that has done this project is Kyle. Uh, so thank you very much, Kyle, uh, for being generous and sharing with me your page. All in all, I have to say that it's actually a pretty good project. Uh, the name of this project is a tribute page. And if you head like here in Freecode Camp, you can see all the specifications. Um, I've also done this project, but in the past, like three or four years ago, I'm, I'm not sure. But now we will check Kyle's project. And all the tests are okay. You can check if everything passes from here. And I have already checked that and I can see that everything is working fine. Now, as a far as the first thing that I will say about this page and keep in mind that it's a very beautiful page um, it's that I don't think that the green color is the most suitable one from one hand I can understand it why Kyle maybe has picked this color it's because like it's green here and also there are some green elements like right here but I don't think that it's a very good combination, this green color with this purple outline. And especially, I'm not very sure, like, behind this uh, purple and the image, of course, there is also another one, like, a smaller kind of background, which again is green. I think that a person that doesn't or can't see very well isn't going to be able to distinguish this green color with this green color. The difference is very small. So overall, the combination of green and purple can work sometimes, but I don't think that in this case, this green shade is the best one. There are a lot of tools for picking colors and probably in the description box I can leave some of them. I think that they are very helpful and personally I use them a lot um, when I have to create a page. Now as far as the structure, um, I think it's like very nice. I can see all the data here. I can read them pretty easily. So that's also really cool. Um, another thing is that down here, I can see all the information that I need. If I click here, I'm going to another website. I've already tested. So I know it's working like perfectly fine. And now let's go a little bit to the code itself. Um, as far as I can see, the first thing that it's missing, and also Kyle told me the same thing, is that there are no comments. And comments are really, really like a big thing. I know that if you are coding alone and if the website is something small, then maybe you think that you don't need comments. But this is not true and <laughs> I'm sorry for that. You should always have comments in your code. For the very basic things, then it's okay, you don't have to use them. But for like bigger projects or proge projects that are going to be seen by other people, then you should be having some comments. Uh, so let's start from line two. I know that these are some things like main, title, title info, image div that FreeCodeComp says that you should use. And you're very right and you use them very correctly. So we have no problem here. Then you continue with an image. That image again, it's cool, it's responsive. So again, no problems here. Um, you have the alt, which is correct. It's because some people, you know, they forget to add the alt. For those of you who don't know that, the alt is for people that have some, um, again, some issues with their eyes so they can see very well. And then they use a, a screener, a recorder to, to listen actually to what does this alt thing says. 
then you have the fig caption everything is well here and then you continue with the article now somewhere here i guess that you could add a comment the comment doesn't have to explain something that it's visible but the comment has to say what's going on so for you here you start writing writing everything um, another thing that you should be careful about is the readability and the readability here I guess that it could be improved like you could of course fix the space here so you could have everything like one tab in like that then the UL should be out a little bit and then for example here to help the readability you could have it like that or even here you could have it like that so i think that you get the point when you are when you have different elements you should leave an empty space an empty line and also you could add a comment the comment could be anything like maybe description or something like that and yeah i think pretty much that's it so leave comments when you can and when you have something valuable to say uh for example maybe like here you could have something like um years of important things or you know something similar and now let's go to css on the css again i don't have a lot of things to mention but again one more thing is to add comments there are no comments here and again this is something that kyle already told me he knew that his code didn't have any uh comments if you want also to check kyle's website in the description box i will leave um, a link now also here to help the readability you could leave some lines like that if you have elements that are pretty similar, then you can either combine some classes uh, or you can at least have the classes near to each other. And this is something that Kyle already is doing. For example, here he has the image div and here he has the image and the image caption and also here like the title. So this is good. Again, overall, I like this website. I think it's clear, it's minimal, and you get the point out of it. All right, so here we are good, and again, good. Maybe this name could be something different from like image div, but it's okay. And we have the image caption, tribute info, UL, Lee, second header. Again, this is cool, line. Now here you have a link a and then you have like these things for media query. Now for example here that you are writing for media query you could add some comments because maybe there are some other people maybe they are new in developing and they don't know a lot of things about media query so you could try it here a nice comment. All right, I think that pretty much that's it for for this um website but kyle was also kind enough and he shared with us another website that we are about to look okay so this is the final look uh the other page is the survey form again it's from freecode camp in the description box i will leave also um the description so you can read it by your own there are a lot of user stories here there are like um 16 user stories again i'm not going to go each by one or one by one story because i can see here that if i run the test everything is correct so good job kyle i like this website as well it's the random survey form you can have like all your elements here and it will work just fine some other things that i would also like to mention is comments there are no comments here at all this form is like a medium in length there are some questions and there are some answers but if this form was bigger then you should absolutely have some comments and also please like leave some lines the lines will help with the readability um 
and especially if you are changing elements like here you have the header but under the header you have your main form and you have your form here but under this line you could have a separate um, element like something completely different maybe a carousel with images maybe a description maybe uh, like I don't know what else you could have but you could have like a billion of things so you should have some comments here because a lot of people or if you have a partner maybe he's going to continue working from here so you will just collapse what you did here or if he wants to see what you did maybe then comments would be really really helpful maybe he would want to continue your work so you could have something like very simple here uh, like I did the name the email and the age and you could leave a comment what you didn't do so your partner would just collapse the four and he will continue his job okay for example like this uh, I don't have anything else to add for the HTML everything seems to work fine I can see and I can do all the main things that I would like to do and now as far as the CSS concerns again I don't have a lot of things to say but maybe you could have lines and comments now another thing that I saw both in your previous website Kyle as in this one is that you are using HSL for background color this is cool and I like this color system but a lot of people are not very familiar with HSL and they are more familiar with RGB or RGBA personally I think that HSL is a little bit harder to, to realize in what color um, you are working with so maybe if you were using RGB or RGB 8 or oh, sorry RGB a it would be a little bit easier for other people to understand what are you doing or with what you are working on so yeah I think that pretty much that's it you did a very beautiful job and I like all the details that you added for example this hover or the beautiful um, like comments here and yeah continue doing amazing job thank you very much for giving the um, giving me your permission to review your work continue with free code camp and continue being an amazing developer also people if you like this idea you can also share your url with me and i will do um i will do a feedback i will give you feedback and i will do a review if you also have any question just leave a comment below all right that's it for me if you like this video please don't forget to like share it with your friends and also subscribe to my youtube channel that would be awesome thank you very very much have a beautiful day and see you really really soon